The petrodollar is actually a device invented by Kissinger and Nixon. The standard of living of all Americans can be traced back to here, the vast oil-rich deserts of Saudi Arabia. In the early 70s, after the Arab crisis happened with the oil embargoes, OPEC basically tripled the price of oil to the Western world. And at that time, America realized that they were vulnerable because they were importing about 70% of all the oil they consumed. To secure a reliable foreign source of oil, U.S. President Richard Nixon sent his Secretary of State and National Security Advisor Henry Kissinger to Saudi Arabia for a secret meeting. The result was a pact that still stands to this day. If Saudi Arabia, which at the time was the world's largest producer of oil, would sell the oil in U.S. dollars, America would defend Saudi Arabia and make sure the House Assad would stay in power. As a direct result of this U.S.-Saudi agreement, all other oil-producing nations also adopted the dollar as the de facto medium of exchange. Demand for it increased exponentially all over the world, and soon it had a new name, the petrodollar. Your currency is only as strong as the demand for it, just like anything else, the supply and demand. Why the petrodollar is important, it causes a demand for the U.S. dollar. A lot of Americans don't realize that over 70 percent of all the hundred dollar bills in the world are actually outside of the U.S. There's more hundred dollar bills in Russia than there are in America. This stockpile of U.S. dollars in countries around the world is because oil is bought and sold using the greenback. If oil starts trading in non-petrodollars, such as gold or a basket of currencies, or if China and Russia start trading in yuan and ruble rather than U.S. dollars, that demand isn't there. And the way of life for the average American will be done. It will be worse than the Great Depression. To date, anyone who's potentially threatened the status of the petrodollar hasn't fared well. Libyan strongman Muammar Gaddafi publicly pushed for a pan-African gold-backed currency that he would trade for Libya's oil. He was killed during a U.S.-backed revolution in 2011. And just a few short years before, Iraqi dictator Saddam Hussein advocated selling oil for euros. At this hour, American and coalition forces are in the early stages of military operations to disarm Iraq. The U.S. invaded under the guise of looking for WMDs. Iraq did not have any weapons of mass destruction and interestingly enough after the Americans invaded, took over, put in their own government, the whole concept of selling oil in euros never surfaced again. Today many countries resent the current petrodollar system and their leading spokesperson is none other than Russian President Vladimir Putin. Americans should be very worried about what Putin can do. There is a new Cold War going on. It is the colder war. That is exactly what's going on. And who's in the center of this push? Vladimir Putin. And the petrodollar is so crucial to the colder war. The only thing holding America right now at the top is the petrodollar. And let me make it very clear, if the petrodollar dies, so does America as a superpower.